Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and in this video we're going into week two. So we're in the Shattered Realm Dree Debris of Dreams, and this is week two, August 31st. I think these are going to be on a three-week cycle. It seems like that's pretty obvious that we can kind of tell that at this point. So there are things that we're going to be able to get to, say, on week five that we're, we cannot get to right now. There's one thing I show you, but there's still other stuff we won't be able to get to for a while till more and more things unlock. So my goal in this week is to show you everything that I think we can get to normally. And then I'll do a future video, say like week five, unlock some other stuff. I'll do a separate video to tack on anything for Debris of Dreams. But for now, this is week two Debris of Dreams, pretty much as much as we can get unlocked. And the big thing to note is to be able to traverse around the places that you need to be able to get to, there's two things that you need. Last week, we needed Barrier Breach to get through a lot of the doors. You'll need to bring that with you again, so make sure you get that one. That only requires like basically level one. Uh, and then the second one is True Sight. Now, the only way to get True Sight unlocked, you need to complete the quest. So if you're watching this video, that's totally fine. But you're not going to be able to get True Sight until you do the Debris of Dreams Shattered Realm at least once. Once you're done with that, you get this quest to like, you know, step 13. I think it's 10 that it requires, but like 10 through 13 is mostly talking, I think. Uh, once you get to 13, you're done for the week. And then you'll for sure be able to come in here and get True Sight, which is going to reveal platforms just as the beacons before would give you a little buff. Uh, and you would pass through barriers. This time you're going to activ activate the True Sight beacons. And they're going to allow you to be able to see platforms you can jump on. Chests that wouldn't normally be there. And, you know, floating platforms with chests on them. So, overall, this is basically required to do most of what I'm showing you in here. You can beat it, the activity without it. But to find just about everything else, you're going to need this. Now, one other thing. If you can get your Wayfinder's Compass up to level 4. And level 4 is basically going to come from your Triumphs, the Seasonal Challenges. So if you come up here, it's these. So Wayfinder's Voyage, Umbral 1, and Ascendant Ballast. Mine is bugged and is still bugged after I'm done. Uh, mine bugged all the way down to 1. If you are 3 or above, you'll be able to finish this one this week. So hopefully that helps you out. Uh, when you come to week 2, you've got Wayfinder's Voyage, Leyline Secrets, which is the one you're working on. So this one won't be done. And then also Umbral Wayfinder 2. Again, Wayfinder Troves, Umbral Engrams focused. Pretty easy to do those if you've got some of the currency to spend. So... Big thing is, however you need to do, if you want to get to level 4, you can. It is, again, not required to do anything I showed you because I did all the research and finding locations of these before I had this perk. The only difference is, it makes True Sight last 15 seconds longer, and it shows more of a distance of what you're able to see. So it's going to make things a little easier for you, but again, it is not required because... The thing at the end of the video that I'm going to show you guys is something I don't think we're even supposed to get to right now. I just use Thunder Crash to, like, fly across the world. Um, and I've seen people do it with the, you know, like different ways to like skate through the sky pretty much. But generally this, I don't think is required. It'll just make things nicer. So if you know, things are bugged and things are a little slow, don't worry. As long as you have barrier breach and true sight, you can do everything I show you. No problem. So let's go ahead and jump inside. Big thing to note is you're going to need unstop or you're going to need overload for the first one. It's a chieftain, I'm pretty sure, in the first beacon. And then the second beacon is going to be unstoppable abominations. Those will be at least two of those, I think. And then the final section, when you actually get to the boss, it's not a champion, but it's a big sh um, it's a big tank. So that one will take you a little while. They're actually fairly long fights. That's why I cut those out of the video. But let's jump inside and we'll get this thing going. Now, once we come into the Leyline Junction, remember last week we went this direction? Well, it's not open, so we're headed to the right since this door is open. Next week we're going over there, and I think that one's going to be Hive. But for now, we're headed this way, and you'll notice this looks very Scorn-related. Looks like the Tangled Shore, basically. Now, one thing to make note. Beacon 1's over here. Beacon 2 is going to be kind of basically through that structure. It's in the back. And then what you'll notice is these little lights will actually guide your way. So you got this light here, this light here, there's a light up there. The lights will actually kind of tell you where you're supposed to be going. So if you get completely lost, look for a light. Now, before I go any farther, this little island over here on my right, not the one that you can see down there that's lit up, but this one that's a bit more dark over here, that's the one that I will show you guys at the very end. And as I'm a Titan, I can get there. If you sword fly from the top, I'll show you an option as well. There are ways to traverse like that area. And then I'll put those as a bonus at the end. But just know they're not required and likely there's gonna be a way to probably teleport over there later because I don't think there's any platforms. So first thing we're gonna do when we start is come in here. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight up to the beacon. There are some that you would find along the way, but as we kind of have to come back through this area anyway, 
I'm just going to kind of clear out the ads and head over there. So as we run across, at this point, I'm just going to skip most of the ads and traverse across. Skipping as many things as I can just to make this smooth for you guys. Oh, that's just a dead body. We got this guy down here. And basically, once you come over here, we'll be at our first anchor. And literally, it's tucked right behind this corner. So we're going to go ahead and pick this one up. And this is anchor number one in this area. Also remember, those... Actually, they used to count for 30. Apparently, when you upgrade the barrier breach, you might get 50 from those. So be aware and make sure you spend uh, some of your parallax trajectory so you're picking those things up and you actually get something from it. But that is anchor number one. So when we come up here, you're going to have a few ads to kill. Beacon ahead. Be cautious. Keep working your way up. You can have a couple of these ads to kill. I'm trying to kill, kill them quick. So just no, Normally, I'd probably be a little more clear with what I'm doing, but... Just trying to make this not the forever long video because it's already probably going to be a long one. Remember this section, we will come back through here. So once you come in here, you're going to have a couple of these guys off to the right. Looks like we got about four. So when you head in here, this is where you're going to clear out the first beacon. I'm going to go ahead and activate it, clear out the ads, and then we'll come back afterwards. All right, so once you are done aligning the first anchor, you're pretty much just going to do a 180 from where you start. And if you're wondering, you've got a barrier door and you've got a normal door. You could go out the barrier door and there's stuff we'll get to in a minute over there. But we're going to go back this way and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of an area that we're not going to have a great way to get back to, so we may as well do it now. So come back this way. Kind of head up here. And remember when I said these things were going to be important? This is for True Sight. Now remember, to be able to get True Sight, you will have already had to beat this entire area one time. So now that you've got it invoked, we're going to try and do them in the best order possible. So you're going to invoke True Sight. Mine lasts for 34 seconds instead of 20. So the extension on the time is quite substantial. Now you don't have to hit it both times to get through here. I did everything I've sh I'm going to show you guys without it before. It just makes it last a lot longer. So once you get over here, clear out a few ads. Besides the ones want to jump on my head. There's a few stragglers. Now this is safe passage. My understanding of my guess is safe passage is going to allow you to sit in this area and not be slowed. But there are two chests. If you look above, you got one where these things are going straight up above my head. And then if you go all the way down here to this edge, over here you've got a little baby platform over here. So we're going to invoke True Sight. Start fresh over here and not jump off the ledge like I just did. All right, you probably saw me just like jump off the ledge here. Try not to do that. When you activate True Sight, but I'm still slowed, my jumps are very limited until I get outside of this. So once these pop up, you want to start running forward and then get your jump off to make sure you get up here to this platform. And this is chest number one. As I just fell off, that's why this is open. But here's your first chest. Now, you've got a platform up there. If you can... You can jump outside and then theoretically try and grab that one, but it's actually kind of difficult to do. But that is one of the ways you can get up there. I've seen it done. Um, and again, that's not the required way. The other way, and again, depends on your mobility, depends on a couple of things, depending on what your stats are set up to. There's certain exotics. You could probably swipe a sword and get over there. But I'll show you how I actually did it the first time. So... All I did, you could go the other way, and I'm going to try and get a cut in there where you can. But this to this. Now, the idea is you're probably supposed to have safe passage so you can actually jump here. But my mobility is at, say, 66 right now. It's not crazy high. I put the stat increase on a couple of these pieces. But it's not the highest in the world. And you'll notice I can still make that grapple jump. And I got to kill some guys. Don't mind those. But you can actually make that jump just from here. So the crazy fly around that I've seen done, but probably is not the most reliable. It's not required anyway, so I wouldn't tell you you probably have to do it. Biggest thing is just try and make sure you're on the edge of this little rock. And then you just want to try and run yourself, get again, as high as you can. And just get a decent jump. And you might grapple up. If not, check your mobility. Mine was a little low at first. 
So mine was 66 right now. Maybe it's 77. Jump's probably really not going to matter, but your mobility actually will. So if you can just like change a mod out and be like, come in here and be like, okay, let me throw more mobility on. And it's probably a little bit easier. So check that if you need to. Once you're up here, True Sight will work much better. And then now, same thing, jump up here. And this is the hard part. This one I did on my Titan. You'll notice there's a little point where I get above the jumping zone here. So I'm like in the slow, and then if I jump up in the air, there's this split second where I'm here. Nope. Nope. And you'll find these little points where it works, and then you can actually hit that double jump up in the air. Now that's where something like high jump might work a little better. I have on strafe lift, but high lift might actually work a little better. So again, you can try different things. Make sure you got true sight on so the platforms are there. Jump up to this one. And if you get high enough where you see it take off, and you can lift yourself all the way up over here, you should be good to go. So it's not the easiest thing, and honestly, if you can't quite get this one figured out right now, next week can safe passage is up, and then probably on week five when we come back and have safe passage, you're gonna be able to get to wherever you need to. So once you're up here, you're gonna have another chest up at the very top, and you can open that one, and that is an enigmatic mystery. That's the en Enclave enig Enigma. It will bring you down here, so just be aware of that. You might have an ad still waiting to kill you, like that guy, and we're good. So now we're gonna retreat back. I know that was long, but that one was tricky. You can activate True Sight, come on back, and then we'll work back where we were by the first one. I'm gonna change my jump, because I swear I'm gonna fall, because I'm used to one jump, and that's just what I run. There we go. All right, so when you head back, we're heading back to where Beacon 1 is. Now, the main reason I had you come out this direction, because once you go the direction I'm going to show you, you can just fall down and not have to come back here ever again. So it's just good to knock that part out early. There's going to be some editing in this video, though. So once you come around this corner, you'll see those platforms show up. You don't need to do those yet. What you actually want to do is go Barrier Breach. And we're going to open this chest for another trivial mystery in here. Open this guy up. You got a few seconds left. That's the supply stash. You can go ahead and pop back out. And then this is where we're going to use True Sight to get this floating one that's pretty hard to miss. So sitting out here, floating anchor. And this is the one that's just floating up in the air. That's the parallax purse. Gather trajectory. We're going to go ahead and fall down here to the original combat area. And now we're going to hit a few more in this section, but if you got to, you know, delete some enemies, delete some enemies if you need to. Okay. So, your goal at this point is if you find this little rotating, you know, rocket platform gravity thing, whatever it's doing, head towards this lake light, which is where we're eventually going to go. But we're actually going to go down subterranean right now, here. And there's a couple things to knock out down below. Gonna have a few ads coming for you. Don't worry about those. Probably gonna be a couple more in here actually as well. So clear these out. All right, once you've cleared out all the enemies in there, I know I've got a little bit of a cut in here, but I actually almost forgot one of these chest runs. But once you've cleared the ads that are in front of you, I know I kind of backed up a little bit and I'm looking down this hole. I almost forgot this almost very easy one to spot. So just invoke True Sight. You're gonna jump on these platforms. Pretty big, easy one to spot down here. Follow them down, and you're gonna have probably like one ad down here, maybe waiting for you. And you've got one chest underneath right here. Easy to get, I just almost forgot to record it for you guys. That is the underhang. And you can invoke True Sight again. We'll go ahead and head and head back up to the top. And then I'm going to cut back to the video that I was in the middle of. So I almost just forgot this one. I found it earlier and just smooth forgot it. So we were back where we were and back to the show. And I do feel like there's going to be one more. Yeah, this is the important one to kill. Beef in to make sure you don't get killed. And you're going to have a couple guys outside. Now, usually they're out there. So as you can tell from where I came in, we'll get to that one in a second. Walked in, literally go about five feet, go left. Walk outside, and we're gonna pick this one up right here. This is another anchor. I'm gonna go ahead and turn back around. 
the, the parallax trajectories from those are, are 30, so I don't know why it was being weird. Now from here, you've got safe passage, we've got true sight we're going to go get, but before we do the true sight, we're going to go down below. Because there's one more anchor kind of buried down in this little part. And if you go out of order, you might forget about it. So there's another one. Head back up, and now we're going to get the true sight chest that's floating up in the middle. Not too hard to get to. Just always got to come at these things in the right angle, especially when you're slowed. Like, safe passage is just going to make things easier. But if you know where to jump, it's not a big deal just to get up two levels. The true sight... Same thing here, you're going to have a few platforms. You are still slowed, so make sure you're pretty direct with your jumps. But they're easy jumps, they're not too long. And that is the second ending magnet mystery, Outpost Lost. So that's both of those already done. So we can fall back down. And then the same way we entered this place, we're going to go back out. You might get a little greeting of some enemies. Don't worry, just take them out quick. And now you can see that one right up above. We're going to go grab that before we head on to Beacon 2 because we can still grab it now. So I know this is a longer video, probably, than you may have even liked. But there's not a great way to do it shorter. So again, coming up here, I came up the ramp. Again, hug hugging this little cliff side so I just stay elevated. And then you can just literally hop over here and grab this one. And then we're going to retreat because I don't think the barrier breach is open. It actually is. So let's do that now. Because the barrier breach is open. This is everything you can do with Beacon 1 aligned. So we're going to jump down here. Got a few ads. This is like the biggest area that has like the smallest number of secrets. It's very strange. But as you fall down over here. I'm just going to delete him again. Bye. And here's a quick little barrier breach. Honestly, wasn't sure when this thing was unlocked, so good to know it's here. Grab your chest. Knock it out pretty fast. Refined mystery. That's at the industrial facility. And now we're just going to go vertical. So all you want to do is get to about here. We can't go into any of the doors yet. You're going to find those in a couple other locations. I'm sure that's going to change when we come back through here later. But for now, the doors will remain shut. So once you get up to this level, you can head back to where we were. This is where the anchor was at, right over here. This was the subterranean level we were in before. And then this is the original combat section where we previously were. We've gone pretty much full circle back to this one. So if you need a quick idea of what we just did, we went over there, beacon one tucked around that corner. Went up around, cleared out, be cleared out the full beacon, did the fight over there. Went over to that slow island. We had the low chest early with like three platforms. And then we did our kind of like mobility required jump to go up over here. Came back. We had the barrier chest in there. And then with the true sight, we had the floating anchor up in the air. Landed in here. Went below where I am right now, where there were two anchors, one chest. And then we just got an anchor over here. And then one chest down below. So a decent amount covered so far. Now we can progress to Beacon 2. Tread lightly, Guardian. This Once you get up in here, depending on what's in this room, a grenade will take out most things that are in here. But you're going to have a few ads facing you. It is fun to delete these guys. If they don't delete you first. Now you'll notice an area does require a beacon to be cleared up because these are unactive. So we've got to go get the next beacon activated. A couple more ads in here. Remember this one, we'll be coming back for that. Should have an ad, yep, right down here. I don't know how many times I can shoot his little shield. And before you go to the left, to the beacon, head to the right, and we're gonna have our next anchor hidden back here. We'll follow this around. Now, as I said, I have a decent amount of mobility here. So with my mobility as is, I'm able to just jump, float up here. And you can activate this anchor, you do not, or beacon, I keep saying beacon and anchor and getting those confused, sorry, but I'm going to activate this beacon, but I'm going to stay over there for the fighting. This one, you're going to have unstoppable champions. In the previous one, in case I hadn't said it yet, you had an overload chieftain. This one, you've got unstoppable uh, abominations. So I'm going to activate this beacon, clear everything out, and then we'll get on to the next piece. Okay, what have I not done? So I've got the true side over here. I've done a lot of them already, actually. 
All right, so once you have cleared out the anchor, we've actually gathered a lot of this stuff already, and I know that fight's kind of long. That's why I skipped it. Once you're done, you can just retreat back this direction. And before we follow the lights up there, which believe me, it took me a long time. Don't feel bad, or maybe you guys figured it out, but I did not figure out to go up there for a long time. Chat had to help me on that one. We've got a little uh, detour here with True Sight. But this one is going to pop a few platforms in front of you. Gonna have a chest right out here. It's gonna be the Leyline Secrets Challenge has been done for me now, which is good. See, I have 20 seconds, and I had 35, so that's the hidden path. So again, one more thing you'll wanna do here. Again, invoke True Sight, and then we're gonna wanna climb pretty quickly. So the, I, the best way to do this is don't worry about the ladder rungs that look like they're visual. Look for the little breaks in the wall. These little things are what you're gonna be able to go up on steps. Here, here, and then here. And once you get inside, turn hard right. Might throw a grenade over here because you're gonna wanna make sure you open this chest while you can still see it. Because the true sight will fade and you'll have to go back down and pick it up again. So you'll see in true sight's gone, there's the chest. So you wanna bring true sight up the ladder and again, if you gotta clear the ads first, that's totally fine. But again, come up your ladder, turn hard left, and then head over right here to where that chest would be. Now, I haven't been able to figure out how to turn this barrier off yet. Not entirely sure, but not a big deal. Once you've got the chest from True Sight, you've got a little barrier chest hidden over here. Get that one opened up. That's another trivial mystery, a little secret stash. And we should be good here. Now, the doors we can't open yet. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but I have a feeling we'll likely be able to at some point. Seems like maybe that's going to be one of those things that kind of unlocks more stuff. Now, from here, this is where we came up. So, again, remember, it's come up, go hard right. And then while you have true sight, grab your chest to the left. You've got your barrier on the right. And then now we're going to keep progressing to the very top of this place so I can show you the last couple. Watch for the screws. Use them to your benefit. If they want to explode somebody for you, why not? All right, so from up here, you could just jump down there. It's an easy way to get down there, but it's not required. Uh, but there's not much around here besides the teleporter. I looked. If somebody else finds something, please comment below. Now, don't activate the beacon because that's the final boss fight and you'll be done. What you do want to do is head towards the beacon, though. And you'll see this railing right here on this ledge, right here. Follow it to its far right edge. And then if you jump up on this rock, you're going to get a little bit of an angle where you can see a little bit down below. So here, and you're actually going to want to go right here. Once you're down here, kind of creep around this edge a little bit, and you're going to find another anchor. This should be number seven, the last one that you can normally get to. And then if you come this way, so again, here, you see barrier breach? Why would you have barrier breach if we can't go through the doors? At some point, the doors are probably gonna be accessible. They're just not right now. But we do have True Sight. Out here. Got some more platforms and a little quick access floating chest right here. There you go, that's Shipyard Secrets. I don't even know who's firing at me. I think they're from down below. But from here, since you have actually dropped down, there's not really a fast way back to the top. So the best thing I can tell you, come over here to the right, kind of catch your fall, and then we're gonna go back up. Can't really make it up there, so you've gotta go in the previous tunnel. Sorry, I jumped a little far. Go in the previous tunnel. Now there is something in here. You guys really just want me, huh? Really? I'm trying to get like li linear fusion rifle kills because I need them. He's just making my life difficult. There we go. Alright, so now you can invoke True Sight in here. I just wanted to show you this. And there's like a couple random platforms in here, so this is probably like a shortcut at some point. But for now, I'm not sure what it's going to do. Later on, we'll probably need that, so plant that little seed in your mind for now. Same thing as before. We're gonna head on up to the very top. We're gonna climb these little fake ladder rungs, mostly just climbing the wall. 
And this time you don't have to go to the left. You don't have to go to the right. Just go hard left. Enemies should be gone. And then you'll just get a quick teleport up to the top. And at this point, that is everything that is normally accessible. Except we have this little island over here, which you're likely not supposed to be able to get to yet. I don't know if a platform is going to unlock anything. I don't know if there's a little teleporter like the way like this thing. If something else activates later, I'm not entirely sure. Now, why do I say that I'm pretty sure there's something over there? Because I know there is. I've been there. So at this point, this is bonus for the video. If you guys made it this far and you found the guide beneficial, please drop a like, you know, subscribe, all that. I'll say it at the end. But over there, you're going to have one anchor and you're also going to have two chests. Now, part of me is honestly inclined not to put this in the video because we're not supposed to go there yet. But if you do want to go over there, basically, I'll tell you this now. There's one anchor and you've got true sight right there. And you've got two different pieces of true sight, a very obvious one where you're going to kind of climb up. And then a very subtle one with like a single platform that you'll actually go underneath this and you'll like travel around the backside. So there are two chests over there. And then you've also got one anchor. Now I'm going to cut over to, I'll show you guys how I get there just so you guys can see it. But I don't want to actually collect these yet because I want to do it in kind of a proper fashion. And I know I'm not supposed to be able to get over there yet because if you don't have a Titan, for example, or you don't sword skate, or you don't cheat your way over there basically with kind of a cheap maneuver, you can't get there. Because I've had True Sight all the way over here. I've even had True Sight from the platform, and you can't get there. But I can get here with Thunder Crash. But also know not everybody has this super. Hopefully that cleared the ads. I've got a straggler. All right. Now we're on the island we're not supposed to be on. And again, here's the anchor. I'm not going to pick it up right now, mostly because I know I'm going to get it later. And unfortunately, since my quest is so bugged, I still can't finish it. I would still be one short, so it's not going to do me any good anyway. Uh, and then if you guys grab True Sight and you want the two chests, if you grab True Sight, it's pretty obvious. One right out here. You got it out in the middle. And the other one, you'll notice the path going down this direction. I'm not going to pick up either of those yet because, honestly, we're probably not supposed to be on this island. But if you guys did enjoy this video, I know it was a longer one, but hopefully this walkthrough was helpful to you. Please drop a like down below. Leave a comment if you've got thoughts about anything. Maybe you know a good way for your class to fly over here. I've seen some people fly from up there and, like, you know, kind of do sword skating and stuff like that to get over here. You can get this stuff. That's fine. But I know there's going to be a real way to get here later. But as I said, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. It's always appreciated. If you didn't, you're like, hey, this is way too damn long. Please put it, you know, put a down vote. If you guys are new to the channel and you do like my guides, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the alert bell. That'll help my guides make it to you. Also, you guys can find me over on Twitter. You can also find me streaming on Twitch where I recorded this thing live. Sometimes I'm streaming right here on YouTube. And you guys can also support me by hitting that join button. Thank you guys very much. Good luck.